thank God this morning to be here this morning. I'm so glad Jesus is with me. I'm so glad Jesus is with me. I'm so glad Jesus is with me. Deacon, Minister, Deacon Watts, Minister Watts, the ABYPU. You know, thank God to be here this morning because you don't have to. God, when you've been far off from the darkness, God went, get us, because of our the darkness, bring us to marvelous light Amen. and give us better lives. When somebody then told us, you're not going to be nothing. But Jesus, make us come and be somebody. Our children, ourselves, our family. When the people said, you're not going to be able to do the job. But God bless us with knowledge. It's one knowledge. Not us, but it's one knowledge. He will give us and he give us what you will need. You're not going to have. Because you're not going to have a Holy Ghost yet. That's why the apostle been preaching to say repent for mission of sin. And when you repent, you know you give everything up for Jesus, and Jesus is going to make your last bed. And at this time, we're going to start out to pray. Remember all the saints, people in the hospital, you have some in the prison, and the country children, and let God bless them. Oh Lord Jesus, we're coming before you this morning. No ask you to bless the service. No ask you to bless our pastor. The deacon, no ask you to bless every member of the church. No ask you to bless the children of the saints, the one at the state going to scourge. No ask you to God to keep them safe. We remember them in the hospital today. Oh Jesus, use the doctor. When we are them, is the children don't have nobody to see after them. Yes. But you'll be able to go and visit them. Oh Lord Jesus, you have some been in prison for many years. Them don't know when them be get out. But you see, Jesus, if you break the chain, yes. you know yes. them will release. And sometimes we ask, we ask because we don't have enough fish. If you are safe as a master see. You ask God for something. God can bless us yeah. with everything you yeah. need. Everything you need. And this, and this morning I ask love to ask you to go and visit Sister Sharon Rankin in the hospital. Yes, you are the best doctor I know. You have the all medication you in your hands. Because without you there cannot be nothing. But with you there could be anything. God, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that with me.
find that scripture in this time that you need to read of the word of God. Psalms 37. Silent witness, fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou words against the workers of iniquity. For they shall be soon be cut down, like the grass and withered like the green herbs. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shall thou dwell in the land, very shall thou be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desire of thy heart. Come in thy ways unto the Lord, trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth thy righteousness as a light and thy judgment as a noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked advice to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evil shall be cut. Oh, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Fret not thyself while, excuse me, for yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be yea, those shall diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotted against the just, and gash it upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall offer him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked draw out his soul <clears throat> and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the meek, and so slay such as the upright conversation. Their inward thought that their, their own heart. <clears throat>
Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, the joy that came to me when I knew that I was free. Praise the Lord. When my Savior found me, he wrapped the arms of love around me. Oh, the joy that came to be. How many are glad to be here today? Praise God. From whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above the heavenly host. I know that it is a challenge, praise the Lord. Sometimes it is a press just to come to church. Praise the name of God. But I believe, hallelujah, because of the effort, because of, hallelujah, the determination to be here, hallelujah, praise the Lord. I believe God has a miracle just for you. Amen. When we come to church, praise the name of God, sometimes it's a fight, it's a battle to get here, praise the name of God. But I just believe once you come into the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So, hallelujah, don't think it's strange because there is a challenge that trying to stop you. Some trying to give you an excuse not to come to church. But when you come to church, hallelujah, praise the name of God. He said, when there's two or three that gather together, Hallelujah. Jesus is there in the midst. And God will begin, hallelujah, through that commitment, praise the name of God, or that effort. God will give you the breakthrough that you need. Anybody need a breakthrough today? Praise the Lord. Anybody came for a deliverance today? I'm just tired of being sick and tired. But this is the place where you get your miracle. This is the place where you can get your sign and you can get your wonder. And God will bless you. They came in the house of the Lord and they couldn't get, hallelujah, to Jesus. And they started tearing the roof off the place. And they started letting people down that had serious conditions. Hallelujah. And Jesus would, let's watch their faith. Is that all right? Because our hope is built, hallelujah, nothing less than Jesus' blood. You got to have a good foundation. That's your faith. So, hallelujah, when we have faith in God, ask them, hallelujah, we can have the truth. Never, hallelujah, build, hallelujah, your hopes on a lie. Build your hopes on the truth. Is that all right? Hallelujah. The woman that was at the well, hallelujah, Jesus, he had to, hallelujah, get her faith redirected in the truth. Is that all right? And how many know the truth will make you free? It will make you free. Hallelujah. She had been going through the vicissitudes of life. And she had, hallelujah, encountered uh, relationship after relationship after relationship until she met the seventh man, which was Jesus. And Jesus asked her for a drink. And she said, we don't even talk to the Samaritans. And Jews don't do dealings together. Why are you asking me, which is a Samaritan woman, for a drink? And he said, if you knew who it was, that was asking you for the drink. You would have asked me. Amen. Hallelujah. Is that all right? <laughs> Somebody tell the Lord, fill me up, Lord. Fill me up. When she was singing, I said, wow. That's the woman at the well song. Hallelujah. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over. Hallelujah. Over. Praise the Lord. And she had that conversation with God. And when I know you have a talk with Jesus, all you do is just have a little talk with Jesus. And what God will do, he'll open up, praise the name of God, the breakthrough that you need. I know he does it for me all the time. Praise the name of God. I have, oh my God, just when they are co-workers, some of y'all think your co-worker is your friend. Your friend is somebody that, hallelujah, is going to be there through thick and thin. Is that all right? The co-worker just going to be there until you get in hot water. They're going to give you up to whoever it is. Yeah, they did it. I didn't do it. She did it. I don't know. I, they, you know how they're they going to save themselves. <laughs> and if it's between, hallelujah, you and them, they're going to give you up. So they're, they're co workers. And sometimes, hallelujah, on the job, you have this person that just don't agree with the Spirit of God. They just don't agree with the joy of the Lord. But that don't stop you from continuing to live the life. Is that all right? That don't stop you, praise the name of God. Uh, you don't compromise your salvation for nobody. Look at you and say, I'm not going to compromise my salvation for nobody. Hallelujah. Yes, the truth is always going to stand. 
and a lie. <laughs> a lie, praise the name of God. People like bad news, you know, they just like the, 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 a lie. They tell that lie, and another person tell another lie, and they keep lying. Hallelujah. The only thing that makes you free is <laughs> somebody got to tell the truth. Is that all right? And Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the life. No man can come unto the Father except by me. But don't think that your co worker, that's my friend, unless they're doing something outside that job with you. They just step with you for eight hours, and then that's it. Is that all right? You got a whole other 16 hours, praise the name of God, to find some real friends. Is that all right? Hallelujah. Because if you can worship with me, hallelujah, look at your name and say, You're my friend. If you can come to church with me, you're my friend. Praise God. But there's no friend like the lowly Jesus. He stick closer than a brother. Praise the name of God. When we really find Jesus, praise the Lord, we'll find a friend indeed. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God. Certainly, we do honor the Lord Jesus Christ today. We want to say praise the Lord to everybody that's watching by way of uh, social media. We want to say to you, thank you uh, for your viewership. We want to honor you as well. In the name of Jesus Christ, we want God to be lifted high. We want him to be magnified. We want him to be glorified. Only way we can do that, he told us to love our neighbor as ourselves. So I have to love, hallelujah, my neighbor. Is that all right? Not knowing their condition, I got to love them. Praise the Lord. I went uh, fishing on uh, yesterday. And praise the Lord, I was uh, fishing and caught about, uh, made, caught my limit, caught, almost caught my limit of fish. Uh, praise the Lord, I got home and it started raining. So I said, I have to clean this fish. I have to clean the fish. And my neighbor came out. It looked like he always come out when I'm cleaning my fish. And hallelujah, he's a good neighbor, but he liked my fish too. And in my mind, I was like, hiding. You know how you hide. I said, hey, how's it going? He said, all right, how's it going? I had my knife and my stuff ready. Y'all ain't listening. <laughs> and I, he said, he said, how you doing? He was trying to figure out. What, what are you doing? He said, what do you got over there? Is that all right? So the Paul and I was, I said, nah, I'm not here in the rain. I ain't, I ain't really give a fish up today. Hallelujah, God. I ain't kiss these for him. Is that all right? <laughs> and then the Lord convicted me. Brother, Brother Keith, I was cleaning the fish. And the Lord said, give the biggest one. I said, oh, Lord. <laughs> I said, that ain't the Lord talking to me. <laughs> I said, I know that ain't God. I told the Lord, I said, that can't be God. He said, you ought to give him the biggest one. Yeah. And that scripture came to love the name. <laughs> so I had, to, I had to clean the fish and went in the house. I said, well, he don't like seasonal gifts. And I put it in a Ziploc bag, the biggest one. And I said, I came back outside. I said, hello. He said, hey, hey, he was already. He said, Lord, I must have talked to him too. I said, I got it. He said, I'm not going to give this one away to He's a, he's a uh, Puerto Rican. He's not going to give it away to his family. He's going to eat this one. I said, yeah, it's, it's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. Enjoy. He said, Thank you, Kobe. I said, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for right now. <laughs> right now, I know where my heart is. I know I like to give y'all some of my hallelujah areas of uh, fishing trip. I was fishing in Praise Lord on Friday. I fish all the time. I was fishing and caught a fish, big fish. I took a picture of the fish and I laid my the phone down right here. And I was just going to kneel down and put the fish on the stringer. And my phone fell in the water. Oh, no, no. The wind was blowing. It was a storm, y'all. Y'all know we had a little windy uh, area that Friday. And I said, "Oh Lord, I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna dive in the water some all that around." Then I had a, a V8 moment. <laughs> I said, "The alligators in there." I'm not. <laughs> I said, "You gotta have that phone. I ain't gonna be able to do it." Yeah. But I was so hallelujah. Uh, just, I was just catching fish after this rain. We was catching a lot of fish. Mm -hmm. I love catching fish. But God has called us to be a fisherman of men. Amen. Is that all right? These things, we got to catch some people. Yes. We got to catch some people for the Lord. Amen. How do you catch them for the Lord? You got to give them the gospel. The gospel is the good news of a savior for lost 
humanity. The humanity is lost. People don't realize that you can deceive yourself. Sometimes you think you're all right. The Bible says the ways of a man seem right to him. It seems like he's doing all right. But the Bible says the end thereof is destruction because he'll, he'll deceive himself, thinking that he's he's right. And there's no one right but God. Is that all right? So if he's not walking, hallelujah, to please the Lord, then he's uh, getting ready to go to Cocoa Beach or one of these beaches, right? <laughs> we got so many beaches. Praise the name of God. He, he didn't come to church on Sunday. And some of you making plans to miss church. <laughs> I'm trying to redirect your thoughts to where you want to come to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Come to him while he may be found. And that way God can, hallelujah, direct your paths in a way that he'll make it uh, better and better. Look at somebody say, better is coming. Better. We're going to get better. Yes. It's going to be and now we're going to get better. You all right? Get in the situation. But it's going to get good. It's going to get better. Hallelujah. So we thank God. I honor also, praise the name of God, my uh, dice, my original apostle, Apostle uh, James May. Thank God for the man of God. And I honor also uh, my diocesan bishop, Bishop Kenneth Gruber, and to my district elder, Bishop Elder Jeff Davis Sr., and I thank God for the men that's got here today. I don't know, Pastor Raphael Rankin. That's our speaker for the hour. I listen, and I honor Minister Baptiste. I thank God for this man of God. Now he isn't missing a beat, and we got to get him on podium to preach. Is that all right? So that he can, hallelujah, preach to us. Is that all right? I was thinking. Uh, on Friday nights because I want to do an evangelistic thing here in Bartow and just scheduling, scheduling is so, so tough. Praise the Lord, we had a, uh, uh, Corianne had a football game on Friday night. Praise the Lord, he got one touchdown and he got an interception as well. Amen. I don't know how many titles he made, he sacrificed so much, I didn't want him to get hurt. Because you're playing both ways. If you don't come out, you got to take a break and get refreshed. Hallelujah. Uh, they did a phenomenal job. They played against Bartow High School. Amen. Just a little preseason game before the season. So give Bartow a hand as well. Thank God for Bartow High School. I mean, I mean, I mean, that's what I remember. I remember here in Bartow. I just want to uh, say uh, we honor our young people as well. Give all the hand praise to them. In the name of this Christ. Yes. Sister Pam Finner, we honor her today. She's graced us with our presence. I honor my mother, Mother Cynthia Ross Waring. I bless Hallelujah with her. And her husband, Deacon Wearing. Deacon Wearing. Sister Tangie Williams, we want to honor her. And her husband, uh, Deacon uh, Marcel Williams. And also, Hallelujah. Thank God for Mother Paulette Brown. Give her a hand, praise her. Oh, I miss her. Amen. We want to honor Mother Michelle Abram and her husband, Brother Carlos Abram. And hallelujah. I thank God for this sister and her lovely companion, Sister Sabira. Thank you. Thank God for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. And those ones that are watching my way of social media, you want to say praise the Lord to you. Good morning. Uh, we want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your viewership and uh, the contribution you made to this ministry. Some of you still to this ministry every single week, and you don't even you don't even you don't even come to, you don't not even a member of our church. And I want to say to you, uh, thank you so much because we want to hear praise for the work all over the world. Praise God, we got people that so in from New York, praise God, all over, from New York to Florida, praise the name of God, all the I want to say thank you personally from Pastor C.A. Abram, the contribution that you make. I believe when you sow into this ministry, you're sowing into good ground. I just believe God's going to bless you with a lofty harvest. I know that you can't be God-given no matter how hard you try. So continue to uh, sow into uh, the will of God. I believe God going to bless you. Amen? Amen? Speaking of sowing, let's take an offering in our hand this time. I was, praise the Lord, uh, looking at uh, some areas, opportunity, 
praising of God to give. And one of them last night wasn't, I wasn't trying to give my fish away to my neighbor. And he was, he was out there like, I know you caught a lot of fish. I was like, what is he watching? <laughs> but he, <laughs> you're being watched, saints of the Most High God, you're being watched. So uh, thank God and hallelujah, you're in a position to where God is blessing you to walk down the right path. So let's just stand with that offering this time. We have a, a very, very um, beautiful speaker for today. I'm going to announce him at this time as well as a prayer of the offering. And this man has, has been with me since I came over here. Praise the Lord. I was painting the church and he, he saw me out there painting the church and uh, praise the Lord trying to get things ready uh, for Sunday and he helped he helped out. Praise the Lord. Just, just you know, just without uh, moments hesitation. He kept coming, kept coming, kept coming. And I literally, of course, we know how he is uh, with the Caribbean uh, uh, Creole. He is a very good chef. Oh my God. Have you haven't tasted his curry gold. You haven't tasted curry gold yet. Yes. <laughs> his jerk chicken. You haven't tasted barbecue, whatever it is. He is uh, very good at what he, what he does. But I thank God for Pastor Elder Raphael Rankin. Let's give him a hand, praise yeah. to give man of God. Hallelujah. His lovely wife, Brother Bible Rankin, thank God for them. Praise him, God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, all hearts are clear. Lord, we ask that you bless, you reign, you continue, Lord, to allow your kingdom to come. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we pray that small portion of what you've given to us. Lord, we're giving it back to you. Saying thank you, Lord. Your word declared all things. Hallelujah. Give thanks. Oh, God, we thank you so much for putting food on our tables and clothes on our backs. Lord, we thank you more for the peace of mind that you've given us. Even now, God, we give you thanks. Oh, God, we ask that you, hallelujah, restore to your people 100-fold Bless them, Lord, when they come and bless them when they go. Bless them in the city, bless them in the field. Oh, God, bless them, Lord, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Oh, Lord, we pray for life, health, and strength, and we continue, Lord, to give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. I've got my mind made up, and I won't turn back. Truly, thank you, Lord. If we have it in our right mind, we want. 
to see Jesus someday. Amen. We want to see him someday because he's coming. He's coming soon. Yes, yes uh, he's oh, coming. Oh. The psalm said, trust and obey. There is no other way to be happy. No other way we can be happy, but it's in God. That's the only happiness we can have. Because any other thing, you're going to fail. And I want, I just want to give thanks and praise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Sunday. I missed out uh, my daughter over there in the Mopi Center, Kansas Center. And my wife, she had to stay over there because when they do, they take some cell out. And when they put it back, you have to be like 15 or 30 minutes from the hospital if anything happened. But thank God, so far, nothing happened. Yeah. And I just want to thank God because I believe the word of God. Yes. I believe it. Yes, sir. Whatever the word says, I believe. Amen. Yes. And I trust God. That's the only way we will make it. Amen. We got to believe it and we got to trust it. Yes. He said, if you love me, you keep my commandments and you live. And that go just in our, our, our Regular life every day, love is the answer for everything. Love. Yeah. Jesus came and he laid his life down for you and I so we can have right to the tree of life. And sometimes we get carried away. But church, sooner or later, we're going to have to stand before the judgment. Amen. Sooner or later, all of us. From the old, the great, and the young, each and every one of us, all those that passed away in the grave, they are coming back Amen. for that great day to stand before God, to give an account for your sin. He does. So don't think we're going to get away some of the time. Say, well, look how long ago it happened. It doesn't matter how long ago. It doesn't matter how long ago it happened. We have to confess and set free. I want to give one of the Spirit of God in my first in my life, my pastor, to all the apostles, thank you, Lord. To all the bishop, elder, deacon, minister, woman coach, and missionary, the children. I give one of and soul today. Those are not able to be here. I hope that they're absent in the press and spreading in the spirit. Yes. Because, like I said, we learn from each other. Sometimes we don't see it that way. I'm old, I'm grown. No, we never get grown. That's right. Up. That's right. When you come down to the word of God, we never get grown. Amen. This here. Everything that you needed is right here in this book. Amen. Amen. Because he promised that it was some life, all of our need, whatever we need, God said, I gave it to you. Amen. So we have no complaint. He said, Well, then I was hungry and you didn't give me no food. That's why I'm going straight. No. Yes. He promised that he will supply all of our need. All of need. Every bit of it. Praise the Lord. So we have no need to say, well then, you know, I'll go this way, I'll go. No, 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 no. You don't have to go that way. All we have to do is obey God's word. Amen. And everything will be all right. The psalm says, if we live right, yes, heaven belongs to me. Yes. If we do what is right before God. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you go to church for funeral and Preacher try to preach a soul in heaven. You can't preach no soul in heaven. No. It's one way we're going to get there. is yes. to do his will. Amen. The will of God. We got to do it. Mother Day, I was down there. We went. My daughter said, we well, we got to spend Mother Day down there. My wife and my daughter. Because, you know. And I said, well, it makes sense. Go down there we stay with. Because look here, why do you think God created Adam and Eve? Because if you be in the world by yourself, nobody to talk to, you're going to be alone in the world. <laughs> Very lonely. Very lonely. That's why he's, when he created Adam, put him in the garden. 
something for other create, put him, put him into a deep sleep, but he took a risk. Took a risk yes. from Adam. And he created Eve. And who did give that name? Jesus didn't give that name. Adam gave that name. Yes. What do you call that name? Eve. Eve. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. So saints of God, we have something to give God thanks for. We got to realize here we are today. We didn't wake ourselves up this morning. Amen. And if, if we think about it, if God took his strength away from us, where we lay up last night, that we we're going to be still laying here. Amen. Yes. Yes, we're going to still lay there. You can't get up if he took his strength away mm -hmm. from us. Yes, what a loving God. Yes. He mighty. The mighty, mighty God. Mighty God. Yes. And he cares. God cared for us. Yes. Because if he didn't care for us, that none of us would be here today. Amen. None of us would be here today. He would cut us off. Yes. Because we make so many arrows mm -hmm. for him. Yes. So many arrows, we can't even see them. It's too many. We can't count them. And God still showing mercy upon us. Yes, sir. Still showing mercy. He still loves us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank the you, Lord. true love, true love never dies. Amen. True, a true love. Something that's real. The love that's real. You tell somebody you love them, better not be from the lips. It's got to be from the heart. Yes. Because that will never die. True love don't die. Right. And Jesus is the true love. Amen. He come and he laid his life down on the cross of Calvary. Because he look at us as a Gentile. Oh, they need help. Hallelujah. Messiah. They need me. Yeah. I got to open a way for them. Yes. Thank the Lord. So they can have right. Yes. He opened that way for us. So we the Gentiles, we can have right to the tree of life. Oh, God, I thank you, Jesus, for this day. Been so good to me. Amen. God, been so good to Hallelujah. me. Hallelujah. So good to me. Because here I am. Last night we was coming from Tampa and it was raining. And it was raining so good. When I read the Bible, I didn't see no rain. <laughs> but that's all right. But that's all right. Our day is coming. Just keep living and keep praying. Keep trust God. Keep believing Him. Yes. Our time is coming. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. It is coming. It's not the rain, Lord. Just continue to look up. Yeah, you're not the rain. And believe and trust Him. Yeah. The psalm said, Trust and obey. Yes. But there is no other way to be happy in Jesus. That's the trust and obey. obey no other way you can yes. have. We don't have God in our life. Ain't no peace there. Ain't no happiness there. Amen. Ain't none there. God is the peacemaker. And we can't talk about him and think we're going to heaven. We got to live the life. Amen. Amen. You can't just talk about it from the lips. <laughs> we got to serve it. If you didn't go to work, and when Friday comes, you go over a paycheck, you ain't get nothing because you didn't work. Yes. Amen. You didn't work, you ain't get nothing. Yeah, I ain't going to look at you crazy. I ain't got you on the payroll. I ain't seen nothing there for you. Got to work. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. In your teeth, you know, we got to work. We can't give up. He said, let nothing separate us from his love. Nothing. Amen. I tell you, these two Sundays, I was in Tampa, but my spirit was still here. Yes. 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 Amen. You see, if you love Jesus and you're home on Sunday, talk about you taking off. No. You, 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 you 
your troubles on every side. Your torment in the house. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Torment here. Get out of here. Yeah. You come here because we learn from each other. We strengthen each other. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And God is a good God. Yes, he oh, is. And we hold him. We hold God everything because he laid his life down for you and I. Thank so we can have right to the church. We hold him. I want to try to say to you in the book of uh, Psalms 78. David, I love the book. I love the book of David. The book of Psalms. You see, one thing with David, he acknowledged that he had sinned against God. And he didn't care who you look at him. He didn't care what you say about him. Amen. Yeah. He acknowledged what he have done. Yes. Yes. Oh. Hallelujah. And says to God, if we don't run before God, we got to repent. That's the only one way we're going to get rid of that. Amen. Is repent. Yes. Because mm. John was preaching it. it we don't have a duty. Repent and be baptized by the kingdom of heaven. Is that right? Yes. You got to have the Holy Ghost. You got to be born again. Amen. Jesus told Nicodemus. Except a man be born again. Yes. He can't see, my. You can't come here. Hallelujah. Because ain't no natural yes. Yes. woman and man going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. No flesh and blood. Abraham knew and look at these. You see the Jews were burning and he was conceiving. Well, he want to you want to see what's going on, man. That and he looking at the backside because he can't see the face. Amen. And he said, turn around. Jesus told him, if you see me, you shall show me that. You will never go tell him the world what I look like. Because the Bible says he dreadful. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus is a dreadful being. Godhead. Mm. Praise the Lord. How can a person live in this world and know many there is a God? You go in this story so I don't start to be a look real, but they ain't real because they don't like there. And they ain't but one life giver. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Jesus. They ain't but one life giver. One. Praise the Lord. Psalms 78, verse 1. You see, that's what we have to do. We have to listen. Man. We have to take heed. We have to believe. We have to obey. I said, David didn't care what wife, children, nobody said about it. Amen. He acknowledged what he have done. Yes. And he danced. How much I am before this God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. We have to acknowledge. Every day of our life. Because we don't know when we leave here. We don't know Amen. when we're going to leave this planet. And if we leave here on the wrong side of the, of the river, we're lost. That's right. We're lost. Mm -hmm. Psalm 78, verse 1, he said, Give ears, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the word of my mouth. Give ears of Isaiah. Hallelujah. Yes, give ears. Yes. Yes. Listen. What do say the Lord? David was speaking. Praise the Lord. Anybody here find favor in God? Oh, Praise yes. the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Find favor in God. Because he's good. Yes. Lord, I thank you. We don't want to live talk about Jesus, about Messiah. What you know about Jesus? He's all right. right. Yes. yes. We don't want to live talk. Mm -hmm. See, that thing ain't getting us nowhere. Yes. Every day I'm still moaning. I moan every day. When I think of my baby sister gone away from here. Every day I moan. Ain't no coming back to Amen. repent. And the Bible says, ain't no repentance in the grave. Amen. 
Know it's the time to do it. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Know it's the time to get loose Amen. for Jesus. Yeah. You can lose for Jesus. Yeah. If you love him, yeah. get loose yeah. and serve him. Because the song says, if you live right, yeah. heaven yeah. belongs to you. If we live right, Jesus told us to leave us. Yes. Yes. You want to get here where I'm at? You got to change your way. Yeah, we got to change our way. For our way is not God's way. Amen. Neither our thought. Everything in Him is above us. I'm sorry, because He is the God. Amen. The only true living God. He's the God of the Lord, the God of the earth. Amen. Praise the Lord. Incline your ears to the word of my mouth. Listen. The word, praise the Lord, is not my word. No. If you're hungry, it's right here. Here go your bread. If you're thirsty, hallelujah, here you go, you can get a drink. But you got to love him. Yes. What about how you love yourself? If you love it, then you love yourself. If you don't love it, you don't love yourself. Amen. No. You put it first in front of you. Yes. Put it there, and you follow behind it. I never forget. Took a while down in Tampa when she got his here. The doctor have things that happen where tribe was twist, could use the back of doing and the stomach was that big around. And then planning to go back and do another surgery. Jesus. And I'll just stand up there in the corner, listen at them at that Sunday. Just stand up there and listen to what they're talking about. But my mind made up and I wouldn't turn back. My mind was on Jesus. Yeah. yeah. My mind was on Jesus. Stand up right there and listen to them. Yeah. They don't know what to do. She hungry, dying. They don't know what to do. But I know somebody know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus know what to do. Amen. Amen. And I stand up there and they make plans Jesus. to do another surgery. And you might not believe me, but the morning before I took my wife to the hospital, I see death all over her. In my house, God is my witness. She's dead, hallelujah. Yes. She cleaned up from the, the one end of the house to the other. Everything was in order. Jesus. Jesus. And that's something that I went down here. Jesus. I lay, Jesus. I lay there that on the concrete. I was on call on my job. Yes. Supposed yes. to be yes. here in Bato. I was way tougher. So it wouldn't matter to me what happened. Somebody need me. Yes. Way down on the floor. I lay that Sunday night and sleep, and God showed me. Jesus. The tribe was twisted. Can not come out of it? You know, when you cut the water hose on and you twist, you got to go out and lose it before you get some water. You don't want to lose it. You'll be still waiting for water in the running. Yeah. Because something stopped me. Yes. Yeah. Jesus. God showed me and he said, I'm going to deliver her to you. Jesus. God put a knife in on me. And the whole world, I had a knife every door. Jesus. Yes. God, hallelujah. That's how great God is. How loving, how caring to you and I. Yes, sir. God deliver her. Hallelujah. When I took her back for the doctor who took that stitches up to his office. When he opened the door, first thing come out of his mouth. He said, pray a word, can you, brother? Jesus. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, and the next thing come out of my mouth, I said, Doc, next time when you're going to do a surgery, you put God in front of you. Yes. yes. And he go through one ear and go through the other. Two weeks after that, he do surgery on a white lady and cut the wrong vein, and she is six feet in the ground. Jesus. God, my witness. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Just like when my wife had cancer, I take up to the Barnes Clinic. And he started talking about how many died. I said, hold on, doc. I said, you're going to treat her, but my God is going to heal. Yeah. yeah. Amen. That's right. After he get through 
put that tithe in the body and go on and go on and go on. When he finished, and we went back to the resort. And when he's sitting in front of the company, when he pulled up his, and he didn't see no candy, he said, but my God, it was so much. I said, that's what he's going to tell you. Yeah. So I said, you want to check for yes, my God. Yes, yes. Yes. Come on, sir. You don't want to believe it. If you don't want to trust him, a lot of times we ask God for something we don't get it because we don't believe him for what we ask him for. God don't need our help. No. When you take it to God, He don't need your help. Leave it here. Go your ways and believe and trust Him, and it will work. Can you believe it? You got to trust Him. What they said in the second verse? And it said, "I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utterly dark saying about which." Uh, we have heard and known, and our Father have told us. Huh. Praise the Lord, yes. Our Father told us about it, but we don't want to listen. Amen. You know how disobedient we is? Yes. I ain't going to say we, because I couldn't do that when I was coming up. No. I ain't going to say we, because I ain't including that. When I was coming up, thank God for my parents. I wish they were living today. When I see children coming now, my heart grieves. One thing you don't do, you don't disrespect your parents. Man, Amen. Man, man. You don't talk back to your parents. No. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If that's what going to take me to hell, I will never go to hell. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If that's what going to take me to hell, I will not enter the door. Thank back you. in them days, when they whoop you, they ain't have no mercy. <laughs> I'm telling you that now. There was no mercy there. Yes. Yes, My daddy, when he whoop you, he whoop you often, but he give 100 feet in one place. And he didn't use nothing small. Switch. But after we grow up and got married, we believe we whoop one of my brother and sister, we get his switch. He said, let's get his switch. What we do, we join him. Every time he make us, he can grow. <laughs> Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. What happened? Give them, give me another switch. And you go, you get a little over the thing. She might not like it, and you might not like it, but you get it because you don't want to see your brother and sister get a woman. Now, God forbid. You look at the children in the day and you moan in your heart. Yes. Amen. Your heart yes. is very disrespectful. Yes. You know what? I see children today, 15 year old, talk about bringing girlfriend and boyfriend home to home. Mm. Really? Wow. I got six sisters. Mother mm. said, well, when you're 21, you're welcome. 21 year old, you're welcome. There was good days, saints of God. There was good days. There was good days. But this generation now, my Lord, help us, Jesus. What is say here in the fourth verse? We will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praise of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he had done. Wonderful. God has done everything. Yes. Amen. Saints, one thing we got to realize. God don't need us. Why he don't? Because he got on by himself. He don't need us. He could just blow and get rid of this generation and blow and create a new generation, never sin. Never. Never. Good God don't need us. But saints of God, we need God. We need him. You see how wicked the world is today, the people in the world, how wicked they are. Yes. And if you don't have Jesus in your life, this is just the beginning of sorrow. 
just the beginning if you don't love him. Because you're going to leave him. Uh, what you see going on today is just the beginning. The words to come. For, the, for, for he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel which he commanded our father that they should make them known to their children. Yeah. Uh, Praise the Lord. Got to teach your children the right way. First of all, you got to get yourself right yes. yeah. before you can teach them. Amen. Yes, we got to get ourselves right so we can teach them God's way. And it's so sweet. It's so sweet when you have your children in subjection. It's so sweet because they won't put you to shame when you get out there. That's right. Yeah, you won't be ashamed yeah. if you have them in subjection. You get out here and you see children, oh my God. That's the way you brought them up. But the Bible said, train them up. Train them. Oh, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You get that train and it's down there. You got to bend it if you want it bend. Because when they get up here, hmm, you're going to need some help. Yeah. When you get up there, you're going to need some help to bend it. Because it's above you. That's why I preach. I said, don't put your bread basket above your head. Yes. Put it down there so when you pass by, you can see if you have bread in it. Don't hide it. Don't, don't try to go where you don't. You can't go and you can't reach. Don't do that. Don't try that. Amen. Don't try to live above your, 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 your what, what would I call it? Your mean. Above your mean and don't try to live above you, you, uh, okay. no. you, you, what you make, what do you call it? Cash. Oh, me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't try to live. If you make a hundred dollars, don't try to live above it. Because you're going to get yourself in trouble. You're going to stay in debt for the rest of your life. Because you're living above that. You know, you make a hundred dollars a day and you go put up. Two, three hundred dollar what a debt. And you know when you get that two hundred dollar, you can't pay three hundred dollar. You can't make <laughs> praise the Lord. You can't get blood out of stone because there ain't no blood in stone. So you got to live according. Amen. That's why he said, Don't look at your neighbor what they have. Uh, yes. When I was working for the city mm -hmm. and Such and such cut the light off. Got a big house and you can't even pay your light bill. That means you didn't learn how to creep yes. your wall. Mm -hmm. So you got to go back and creep. Amen. Yeah, you see them people living in them big house and you say, oh, they got money. You don't be like that, saints. <laughs> they just want to live like the Jones family. Only somebody said they live in a mansion. Yeah, praise the Lord. Somebody, oh man, he lived in a mansion. And he can't take care of it. And mm -hmm. he, 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 he be pretty good if he get chicken there. Because he can't buy a piece of steak. <laughs> because when you get paid all your money, you got to go back there. In the bill. Because you're living above your means. You, you, you know, you, you, you bring it. You bring you bring it bring down yourself and you know stressing out yourself and you want to you want to be heard that oh and the rank can live in a big old nice mansion and the rank can came buy a dozen eggs <laughs> because as soon as I get the paycheck I got to pay it out and if you don't the white man coming on you yes sir <laughs> you gonna take it I like that you gonna take it yes. You know what? Our prayer and our God. Where I live at? Amen. Yeah, no mansion, but you know what? I got shut up my head. Yeah, And I asked God. Amen. Before I get it, I said, Lord, I don't want to get one where I have to work for 30 years to pay for it. Yeah. That's faithful. I 
get a little house. And you one year was paid. Thank God. Hallelujah. One year. One year. One year it was paid. Yes, sir. And I wasn't making no money. $278 an hour truck driver back in, say, 80, yeah. 1980, 1981. Yeah. Yeah. $2.78 truck driver, the biggest license you have back then. Yeah. It's crazy loss. But one thing about it, though, when you yeah. get that, that paycheck, you go to the grocery store, you can buy some groceries. Yes. Because I remember when gas was 30 cents a gallon. Praise the Lord. Amen. And a loaf of bread was like 25 cents. Amen. Come on now. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's why we need Jesus on our side. Amen. Amen. Because he will make a way for the nowhere. Amen. Praise yeah. the Lord. You can be eating steak and what you want to eat. But Jesus owns everything. Yes. All you have to do is serve him. Yes. And he promised. Yes. He make a promise to you. Yes. It ain't like us, we're making promise and then fulfill it. When Jesus make a promise, it is even written. It's done. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you love it, fall in love with it, and you're going to live. Amen. Praise the Lord. In the sixth verse, he said, that the generation to come might be known even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare unto, declare them to their children. You, we got to teach them children what is right. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. If, if, if they rejected it, it won't be your fault. Don't pet it and, you know, don't, yeah, yeah. don't spoil the ground. Where they need to be chastised, put it on them. But don't bruise it. You can put it on them and don't bruise it. Praise the Lord. You can do that. Children be talking to you like they're talking to their little friend. Come on now. Really? Talk to mother. I see that happen. Talk to mama like they and daddy like they're talking to their little friend. No respect whatsoever. Amen. None. When I was coming up, when I was coming up, I couldn't get out there and do nothing wrong and them grown people see me, they're gonna whoop my butt, I'm going home, I ain't gonna tell it. And when they see my parents, there's another whooping coming. That was good days. Praise the Lord. Now you got your children, you grow them up like a leg of beast. Somebody see a tree, you know, they try to help them and go and tell mama they come, they want to shoot and cut you off. And you try to help their children. Amen. Jesus. Praise the Lord. But you say that to my boy and my dad, not there. You're just as ignorant as you can look at. That's right. And crazy. That's right. Praise the Lord. That ain't the way life is. When I took my kids from Jamaica to come up here, and them children that my wife had, <laughs> she went and told another lady, you don't treat them no different than you treat mine. I'll take your children, one was six months old, and one was three years old. They're my children, they ain't know no father but me. Yeah. When the guy, when the, my oldest stepson father died, he didn't go, he said, I didn't know you. You ain't do nothing for me. That's who I'm gonna write that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the man telling the truth. Yes. I raised him up. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. We've got to love our children. If you know, if children don't love you, oh come on. You see your little baby and you know they don't your spirit ain't good enough, they ain't coming to you. Come on, say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Something is wrong with you. Something is wrong. Yes. I remember a little white baby in the throat and I put my finger in it. I would never turn it loose. Mm -hmm. You want to tell looking at each other? Yes. Yeah. It's a love in her. Yeah. And it's a love in me. And we agree. Amen. Come on. Not because you, your color is white, you think that. You know what? Yeah. 
Sometimes you think, and you look to see what's going on in the United States of America, not just here, no. it's yes. all over. Yes. But I'm dealing with where we are. Can't talk about where we are. We are dealing with right here in the United States. Amen. Praise the Lord. I was looking at the news, and when Donald Trump was president, they raised the debt ceiling three times mm -hmm. in four years. Yes. Yes. And now they don't want to raise it to pay their debt. Because what? It's Democrat. That's how crooked the Republican is. They are very crooked. Republican. They are crooked. Don't want to do what is right. Because I look at it this way, it's two party. Mm -hmm. And if the people go to me, oh yeah, you're welcome. Yes, yes. That's their choice. Right. Why should I turn my back against you? Because they chose, they pick you over me. Lord help us. We need your help, Jesus. Let me get on here and get out your way here. All right? The Bible said here in the seventh verse, let me make sure. One, two more verse. That they might set their hope in God and not forget the works of God. Listen to me. You, you know, that's what I'm hoping. Say to God, our hope is in God. Hallelujah. We don't want, no matter what you get, you might go on to get a good piece of money or whatever. Hey, you don't know God anymore until that money done. Then here you run, come on. Hello? I like that. Amen. Hello? Yes. God bless you with a blessing. Yes. And after he bless you, I don't know it no more. Mm. Oh, riding up and down. Mm. My big Cadillac or whatever, my Sailor Bin or whatever, big house or whatever. And when the money done, you're looking ugly. Now you know Jesus. <laughs> yeah. And he already blessed you. Yeah. All you had to do is bless somebody else and live. Right. Yeah. You don't want that. That's yeah. right. Yes. Yeah. He already blessed you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's why yeah. I'm, 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 I hate to say this, but. God bless some of us just from our hand to our mouth. Because you can't stand the blessing of God. Some people can't stand it. God bless you abundantly. Instead of you bless somebody else, yes. you, you walk past them like they ain't exist. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, uh. Amen. Hello, Brother Randy. I'm gone. I, I, I'm gone. Uh -uh. You ain't good enough for me to talk to. Hello? Amen. You ain't good enough. I remember when I was out in the world in Fort Lee, we all used to smoke together. Yeah. yeah. You get a man, got a guy got a job, man. Oh, after you get that job. Oh, man, I don't know you no more, man. Yeah, he worked into the mine. You know, about that, you know, my job was a big job. Yeah. 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 And as soon as he go on, we for after a while, I got a mine job too. But they didn't change me. Don't let Amen. money change you, says to God. Whatever you got, don't change. Yeah. Don't change. Yeah. Whatever you have, don't change. Don't let it change you. Please. Because the Bible said, if riches increase, God says, set not your heart up on it. Yes, right. Yeah. Don't turn away from me and serve it because he gave it to you. Yeah. And he owns the riches. Amen. So we got to be careful how we live. In this world, Amen. because sometimes we find a second position and we think we're better than each other. Amen. But we ain't. The car don't make me better than you. No. The vehicle I drive don't make me better than you. No. No. Because ain't no, God ain't no respect a person. Yes. Yes. Amen. He bless you just like He bless anybody else. If you want it. If you want it. Amen. If you want it, you got it. Yes, sir. God will do that for you. In the end verse, what he said, I'm going to close with you. And, and, and it's come on, man. And might not be as their father, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that set not their heart aright. And whose spirit was not steadfast in God, yeah? 
That's why we're living our generation in this world today. You tell them about the things of the world. That's hard. You, you know what they're going to call you? The old times when you try to get, tell them, tell them, this ain't the way you go. I look at these women and they got out of paws, I lost them way out there. <laughs> and I said to myself, why? You don't sacrifice what God gave you? You put it on this heart there for what? It ain't real? No, it's fake. It's not real, it's fake. It's fake. One thing I never do, I used to have Jerry Curl, but I never, I never put a hole in my ears. Yeah, Praise the Lord, you may ain't got all the ring in their ears. Yeah. Stop it, stop it. Come on, don't give me that. Don't give me that style in my foot. You know, a woman, a woman shouldn't even have it, much less you talk about you putting it in there. Oh, you got style. <laughs> never. Be out in the world. No, 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 no. I ain't put no hole in my ears. Put no wire in there. Uh, Come on. I see some woman put hole in there. And they got a big old thing hanging down there. Yeah. And sometimes they don't even learn from that. <laughs> sometimes they don't even learn from it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> hey, it's so important, but it's the truth. Amen. That don't make you look no better. Come on. I ain't looking good. I'm 76 years old. I'm satisfied with what I look like. Come on. Praise the Lord. See, I don't even have my ring because I don't like the way they ring. No chain. I ain't wearing it. Y'all ain't gonna make me look no better, bro. But the song says, if you live right, yeah. if you do what is right before God, the Holy Ghost yeah. will beautify you. That's all you need. Yeah. That's all you need. Yeah. You don't need no makeup like a movie star. Yeah. You don't need it. No, no, it ain't movie star. That's right. You don't need that. No. The Holy Spirit will beautify you. Praise the Lord. Sin is the only one making you look shape. Sin is the only one making you look wrong. Amen. But if you're in Jesus, yeah. tell me what you know about him. Amen. All right. All right. Let me close with you here. Let me close with you. What the, in the book of uh, Isaiah 50, 55, verse 3 to 7. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Say to God, I don't need all that. No. All I need is the Holy Spirit. Praise to God. I'm sight. Hallelujah. That's what I need. Mean, the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yeah. And everything that I want to be like, yes. God is beautified. Make you look pretty. Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. Only sin makes you look ugly. Yes. Sin. Sin. Yeah, sin. S I N. Sin. Yes. Praise the Lord. You get the Holy Ghost, and that's all you need. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus. You get the Holy Ghost. That's all you need. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You don't grow old. You grow young. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing you get old is the clothes. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Clothes get old. I ain't challenging them little young jitty bug to outrun me, but you got to be careful. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes. Why? Because God is good. Yes. All the time. Ah. God is a good God. Yes. yes Praise yes. the Lord. Yes. And if you live right, yes. you have nothing to worry about. Amen. Praise yes. the Lord. Praise the Lord. I said, if you live right, you have nothing to worry about. Yes. Because He's going to be there for you. Yes. Just do what is right before God. Amen. Do it. Do it, saints of God. Yes. Do it because you're going to need it. Amen. Amen. Because we don't have long left here. Yes. If you don't believe me, when you cut the TV on, just look what's going on in the world. Right. Just look how wicked. Right. Just look how wicked we are oh to one another. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look how wicked we are to one another. Amen. And we can't, we can't give life, but we want to take it. Yes. Huh? We want to take something that we can't give. No. We don't want to live like that. Isaiah 55. Praise the Lord. Let me close with you. I'm not an Old Testament preacher because God tell me from 
from, from, from uh, 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 Matthew to Revelation, he must preach. Amen. It's a must. Amen. He said from Matthew to Revelation, he must preach. Amen. Must preach. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Messiah. Praise Amen. Isaiah 55 and verse 3 to the 7 verse. What is said here? Right. Incline your ears and come unto me. Hear, <clears throat> and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercy of David. He come, yeah. come unto me. Yeah. Ha, ha, Zion, hallelujah. Come to Jesus. Ha, ha, hallelujah. Come here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come to me. Come on. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. He's calling us. Yes. Yes. He's calling up the time is winding up. Amen. It's winding up so fast that we Amen. can't see it because if we ain't got the Holy Ghost, we're blind. Amen. We're blind. We can't see. Yeah. If we don't have the Holy Ghost, we are yes. blind. We can't see what's going on. Because the only way you can understand this here, 99% of it is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now I'll give you 1%. But the Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want to shepherd go there. You make him your shepherd, yes, and you go on. Listen, listen, says the Lord. This way is so sweet. Amen. I can't tell you how sweet it is. You got to come taste it for yourself. Yeah. You got to taste it for yourself. Because if I go home and cook now, come here and grab it all good it was, that's just me talking. You didn't get none. You don't know if it's good. <laughs> yeah. I'm grabbing how sweet it was, how good it was. But you didn't get none of that food. When you get it, then you just say, oh, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. I love to cook. And I love to see you eat. Yeah. Uh, I'm not an Indian either. No, 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 I'm too old for that. Messiah, <laughs> hallelujah. You know, you, too, you, you sit down there too old to eat all that food you can't even get up. And you talk about, oh, yeah, you do too much. You shouldn't eat all that money food. That's right. Praise the Lord. That's right. It might taste good to you when you eat it, but you got to realize you got to get up. Amen, praise the Lord. <laughs> and you can sin. If you eat too much, you can That's sin right, right there. Yeah. You can't sit down and you can't lay down because you got too much inside of you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Eh? Too much. But I love to cook. Just in my nature, I just love to cook. Amen. And I, if you come along, I will feed you. I ain't going to come here and preach about it either. Because if I come to your house and you, you feed me, you come talking about it, I ain't coming back here. Amen. Oh, very well, you come to my house and I'll feed you. Don't do that. Because you come to my house and I'll feed you, I'll give you from the bottom of my heart, not to be seen, not to be heard. Amen. Not to show up. Huh? Yes, I didn't give you to talk about it, tell somebody, no, I'll feed you. Come on. Yeah. I don't want to go there. What it said here in the, in the fourth verse is, Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and a commander to the people. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God gave you good things that you don't know. Gave you good things. Open your eyes. Good things. God. But what is said here? Let me see the verse. Seek ye the Lord while he may be. Yeah. Hallelujah. Call him. While he is held. What did he say? Seek him while he is right around the corner. That means a time gonna come when you're gonna seek him and you ain't gonna find him. You know, left out. Now is the time to do it. Time is winding up. Now is the time to seek him. Because he is near. Yes. Time gonna come and he's gonna be far away. He hear you. Won't give you no answer. Yeah. Thank you. Here, because his eyes is everywhere. Yes. Yeah. God eyes. <laughs> what a mighty God, ain't it? 
Be high and never weary. Yeah. All right, what it said here in the seventh verse? He said, let the wicked forsake his way. On the unrighteous man his thought. And let him return unto the law. Come on. You've got to put away your ways and come to Jesus. He's calling you. And he will have mercy upon him and to your God and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. God will pardon. He will forgive you if you want to be forgiven. Amen. God will forgive you if you want to be forgiven. Amen. You don't, you don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to give up nothing. We want the blessing of God, but we don't want to give up nothing. That's right. But we want to receive. That's you see right. how we is? We want to receive, but we want to give. Yeah. yeah. Just like in our everyday life. I want to get from you, but I don't want to give you nothing. You know you have some people like that. Mm. You have some people, they get the last slice of bread out of your hand, and they've got a whole lot of slice, and Jesus. they ain't going to give you nothing. Some people like that. All right. Um, okay. I was saying, to how many verse did I go? The seven verse? Yeah. Let's get the eight verse and I'll close with it. Father, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Yes, Neither are my ways. Not save the Lord. Yeah. Neither are my ways. Save the Lord. Everything in God is above us. God don't think like we because he's not flesh. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's a spirit. Yes. He don't think like us. No. That's right. My thought. The subject today is do, know, do you know him? And do you serve him? That's the subject. Do you know him? Amen. Or do you serve him? See, it's a big difference. You know him, but do you serve him? Yeah. It's a big difference. Yes, sir. I know. Yes, yeah, that's my pastor there. Yeah. yeah. But do I do anything for him? That's it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's the word of the day. Okay, God bless you. And may every smile upon you. Pray for me. Pray. Yeah. Pray the Lord. When you get a little bit brother and sister. Because yeah. I need your prayer of my family. Yes. But God is good. Yeah. Because they took themselves off. And they send it off and put it back, and everything is good because God is good. Yeah, because God is a good God. And that's why we want to know Him. We don't want to pass by here, somebody preaching, and talk about, we want to know Him and have a relationship with Him. Can we stand, please? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, you know, it would be not just for the preach and don't call an altar call. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Anyone, this is most important. Hallelujah. This is when one soul repent, heaven rejoice. Mm. Yes. And there's anyone here today oh. who have a taste. You have a taste to see mm. how good that honey is. Yeah. And the honey call is. Yeah. You're still there. But anyone? Come on down. Anyone want to pray for? Come on down. Because we don't put it off. That's one thing we don't do. We don't put today off for tomorrow because we remember what the Word of God said. He don't promise to us. Today is the day of salvation. That's when we do what we should do. Come on. I want to unite each and every one of you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. Pastor. I
I've even been a preacher. We know I really preach. Like I bet y'all go to go to Corral and Dollar or somewhere to eat. Amen. I want to say to you today, Hallelujah. Now. I'm so appreciative to uh, your commitment to God and how you're doing your due diligence with raising your family. Hallelujah. And the admonition of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I really want to give you applause. Give yourself a hand. Praise. Praise the Lord. Thank God. Hallelujah. My mother spoke on yesterday. And I got to let you know, it was so beautiful, praise the Lord. First Thessalonians, we know the scripture, the Bible say, uh, pray without ceasing. Amen. And then it said, in everything, Amen. give thanks Amen. unto the Lord. Now the Lord was dropping my spirit while she was speaking. I said, goodness, mom, but tell him about the vow. You know, she said, I vow to praise you through the good and the bad. I vow to praise you. It's a matter of how, how oh, my God. situation looks. Hey, and I can just make a vow. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, some people, praise the Lord, they, that vow, they just go through. Hallelujah. They just run up and down my spine of cord. Because I made a vow. I said, Lord, if, you, if I can trust you, if I can make a vow to trust you, God, I know you will make a way out of no way with miracle signs.
<laughs> amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Amen. First, giving honor to the spirit of Christ, amen, is definitely the head of my life. I just want to thank God for being here this morning. Um, my, I do attend in Tampa, but the service was canceled. And um, last night I was in the book of Judges, so I said, well, Lord, I got to go somewhere in your word. And I want to give honor to the man of God, amen, because there's a sermon that I have to preach. And uh, God had been dealing with me. He says, when your desire doesn't match your determination. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, and the word that you spoke today are my scriptures. Amen. Oh, wow. So I thank God for the confirmation. I thank God for the wonderful word that you gave. I give honor to you, Pastor, and to my sister-in-law, to everybody in their respective places. Amen. It's always such an honor to be here. And yes, ma'am, you can put my name down for June 10th. It will be my honor to be a part of anything that this church provides in the service of the Lord. Amen. Today, I want to just say something. Come back, Carlos, if you don't mind. Sister Byra, I, 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 uh, I tell you, uh, I, I, I let her tell you, she's she just inspired. You know, sometimes, Amen. sometimes she'd be a, a, a bag of tears, but then, you know, so she has a joy. Amen. 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 Yes. Lord, Amen. touch you. He'll touch you in a, just a little moment. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the Lord.
He's a handsome lad. He's a lot more handsome than I was. Is that all right? I don't want him to uh, to get deterred just yet. Is that all right? Amen. Praise the Lord. So, Amen. if nothing else, I got this birthday celebration here. Anybody got a birthday in May, month of May? I want y'all to tell my secretary, because you can't come here and not get something. Now, this, this is Brother Foster. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask his mother. She'll come and receive. Now, don't take his money to go to the warehouse. <laughs> you know he, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dale. Give a little Darnell. Give a little embrace, Darnell. Foster. I mean, that's Jason. Like they just said, Brother Foster. I thought, I thought Jason already got his. But Jason, praise the Lord. Jason Amen. Foster. And we want to pray for Dar uh, Darnell. Darnell, yeah. Yeah, we're going to see. I know the Lord. Amen. Yeah, we want to pray Father, for God. Now. For a reason. Yeah. Amen. We're going to call his name out in prayer. Father, in Jesus' yes. name, bless him. To the glory of your name, in Jesus' name, bring him out. Bring him to you. As we stand, I thought we was all for address one more time. The address is 615 Spencer Holland Parkway, June here 10. in the Rupert City of Bartow, 615 Spencer Holland Parkway, here off of US 17 in Laurel. You can find the church on the corner of US 17 and L'Oreal for our June 10th um, Women's Day program, which is called STAND. Yes. I guess they're going to use that acronym S-T-A-N-D at yes. Galatians chapter 5, I hope. Yes. Well, I'll start giving y'all some little yes. uh, uh, areas of encouragement and Bible study leading up to June 10th. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. So Father in Jesus' name, Father in Jesus' name, Lord help us in Jesus' name. Grace, mercy, truth about us now and forever. Let us all say in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.